Welcome at video number 81 of the model railway simulator called EEP10. We were working on a series of videos about Lua control for routes and blocks and we did see that we can have an allocation of certain train types to certain routes and this video we are going to expand that yet a little bit more and introduce blocks on which trains can drive in two directions and if we have that all combined in one uh, piece of software then uh, well we can automate any layout I would say let's have a look Over here we have the same layout, still the same software. All that we are going to do is change our route table and the block table and maybe add some signals or sensors. Well, the challenge for this video is to make uh, track 3 of station or that's this track over here, to make it two directional. Well, as you can see if I zoom in there is already a train on it pointing in the east direction which suggests that I already did it. Yes, that's true. Uh, uh, in this, this time in this video we are going to look at the end result and not do it live to make the video a little bit shorter. But I'll, I'll run through every step that's needed. Here we have our to-do list. Uh, first thing to do if we want to have uh, also east traffic on station North 3 we should add a signal and that is the first thing to do well as you can see over here I did add this signal it did get the number 33 and that is done uh, as you can see then we also need to add a memory signal because we are now going to have a new block uh, uh, and that means that we need a memory signal. We had our memory signals here at the bottom. I already had a few spares over there and uh, now that we have added a new block we already had nine blocks so now we will have ten blocks. Well I still have more than ten memory signals here so I'm okay. If you did not have enough memory signals on your layout you need to add one now. So that step is also taken care of. And then ooh, the next thing to do is add a new block to the block table. Well, let's go to the software then. And that software is still uh, very much the same. I just took the software that we ended up with in the last video. Uh, by the way, this new software you can again download uh, and the text goes with this video. I added a new block, we were already at 9 blocks, so now we have 10 blocks, block number 10. I gave it a name, the name is North 3 Eastbound, and yeah, for that same sake I renamed the uh, North 3 block that we already had, I gave it the name North 3 West, just for uh, easy reference. Uh, okay, so here's our new block number 10, north 3 east, uh, then we always fill in false false. Then there's my new signal, which uh, was number 33. Yes, that was this signal over here, which is uh, 33. So that is all easy and uh, nothing special. Then 29 is, is my new memory signal, and then we have this special multi reserve numbers let's go back to our to-do list yes we have again uh, a block which is one physical block uh, it is here one physical uh, location but we have uh, two directions eastbound and westbound on the same track that means that virtually I have two blocks on that track which means that if there is a train for the eastbound uh, traffic then it, the block should, the block for the westbound traffic should also be reserved so one train should reserve two blocks and that is done via the multi-reserve numbers in the table 
in this table I, I mention over here that there's a one other block that I need to reserve if this block 10 is reserved I also need to reserve block number 3 yes block number 3 is over here and vice versa I need to do the same if block number 3 is reserved then I need to reserve a one other block and that block is number 10 Yes, over here block number 10 is reserved and over here block number 3 is reserved. So I have this multi-reserve situation. We also already had that with this uh, special train, uh, special track South 1 where we have passenger trains and cargo trains that need a different route. So we created an, uh, an, uh, another block and also here we have this multi-reserve situation. A train on block 9 should also reserve a train on block 7. Yeah, you remember that from the previous video. This is how this multi-reserve stuff works. If you have one physical block but you have more than one virtual block on that, you need to reserve all the blocks. Okay, let us have a look at the uh, to-do list. We ended up over here at point 5. Add two new routes to the table. Yes, we now need a new route for S2, South 2. Yes, South 2 was always going to North 4. But now we also are going to allow South 2 to go to North 3. But that route does not yet exist. And uh, that means that we also have the opposite situation from coming from north 4 there was only one route north 4 to south 2 and uh, now we also need to introduce a new route from north 3 to south 2 so we need to introduce two new routes and that uh, we do in the route table we had eight routes we were over there and now we added simply added two routes uh, south 2 to north 3 so that is the one going uh, here over the uh, west uh, via so let's have a look what we need to fill in there well we are coming from block 8 block 8 was the block for south 2 we are going to our new block 10 yes that's right we are going via block 5 which is the west uh, side block then we need to switch three junctions Junction 3 should go to Fart, Junction 7 should go to Fart, and Junction 6 should go to Upswijk. Well, let's have a look. Uh, yes, Junction 3 needs to go to Fart. I don't know if you can read that. Junction 7 needs to go to Fart, and then to end up at North 3, Junction 6, <laughs> I, I cannot uh, pronounce that, Junction 6 should go to Upswijk. Ok, that's, that's taken care of in this uh, simple uh, table entry. Then let us have a look at the other situation where we go from North 3 to South 2. What do we need to do? Well, we need to switch only Junction 1 and it needs to go to Abzweig. That's all that we need to do. So the final route to add is from block 10 to block 8 via block 6 we need to switch one junction the junction number is 1 and it needs to go to Upswijk well that should do it uh, if we have not made any mistakes then the tables are ok no we still are not yet quite ready we also need some new track sensors I mean we, we have a, a new uh, block and we need a a signal, a sensor, sorry, to uh, monitor that a train has entered the block and also we need sensors to monitor that the train has left the block so let us have a look at our station north, what did we do there uh, it's maybe difficult to see because there is already a train on but you can see that I added here this sound signal I, I always use a sound signal for just for the color and the color yellow uh, in my uh, book means uh, that is an, uh, an entry and an available uh, uh, signal uh, sensor sorry so let's have a look what's inside well inside is a train available on block 10 
yeah that's our new block that we just added and so that signal is doing that uh, function and that is taken care of in this way and then we also need a new signal to monitor if the train is leaving this block I uh, always use purple signals uh, for uh, block 3 so this is the new signal that I uh, placed over here and if we look in the Lua code it says block 3 number 10 alright that sounds good is that all that we need to do? no uh, we also have a new situation over here if a train is running here on this uh, block 5 the west block uh, so far we only had a, a block 3 uh, on here on track 4 but now I added, uh, it is oh, difficult to click that one I added this sensor that says uh, block 5 is now free uh, and that is on track 3 as you can see well maybe it's difficult to see but it is uh, a bit cluttered here uh, this is the new sensor that says block west is free that's what we did, so a block 10 free sensor and a block west free sensor and a new block 10 is a train available sensor that's all, mm, we do not need any more than this and let's have a look at what it does when we run this code uh, I hope it works <laughs> well that is of course a bit, well it works because you see a train is already on uh, north 3 uh, well I, I cannot uh, guess of course if that will happen again uh, I mean every uh, uh, route is, is selected at a random so maybe we have to wait 20 minutes before it happens again we are not going to do that um, it was just an example of how you can create two direction blocks all you need to do actually is place the signals, place the sensors and add the entries to your block table and to your route table the stuff software stays exactly the same alright, uh, just as a final uh, mention I did change something in the software so if you are planning to maybe use this software for your own layout automation then please use this final version because there's uh, a little uh, new thing uh, we, we had this via blocks uh, well this train is now running on such a via block a via block was a block without signals on it and uh, in this layout we always had a via block from station south to north you go via this west block and from north to south you always go via this east block but of course there can also be situations or on layouts where you do not have a via block and the question is then what do I fill in well uh, the new situation it is also commanded in the in the software is when you do not have a via block you fill in zero for the via block and the software will figure it all out and it will work okay so if you have a via block you fill in the block number if you do not have a via block you fill in zero and that takes care of that All, ah, the train I, I forgot to look at the train had uh, been using uh, track north 3 again so it seems to work north 3 is now a two directional block it was already uh, working for westbound traffic but as you could see uh, while I was talking I did not pay attention uh, the train also used the eastbound uh, track so it seems to work it's okay we can uh, if you want proof you can uh, uh, spool back the video to that point and you will have seen that the train did use block north 3 eastbound alright that uh, finishes up this uh, series of three videos on a, a uh, parameterized software for uh, layout automation I, I I don't know if you're going planning to use it I, I realize if you want to use software that is written by someone else it's it's difficult to yeah, to really uh, get to grips with it I also have the same with other software you, you need to understand how it was built but I hope with all the commands in the uh, software itself that uh, it is easy enough for you to fill the tables and uh, fill the route and blocks 
Uh, and you can start with a very simple oval with just four blocks on it and, and have a simple block signaling and see how that works and maybe uh, get, uh, get to grips with it and then build something more complex. I plan to uh, build a very complex layout for a museum and I'm going to use this software because it is flexible enough to do everything that I need. Well, maybe I need to add one more thing, and that is, uh, again, with the vias. I just discussed that there can be situations where you do not have a via uh, block, uh, but there can also be situations where you have more than one via block. If you have a bigger layout, you can run into trouble if you can say only from block A via block B to block C, maybe you want to say from block A via block B via block C via block D to block E. Yes, that can happen and for the, uh, I think I need that in my uh, big layout. So I'm going also to modify the software to be able to have more than one via. I think three will be enough. Um, so I will do that. And also I will try to get rid of these memory things. Uh, because we already have these uh, signals here, they act as, as a memory, but we have only this trouble that we can have two types of trains. Um, so only in that case I would like to use additional memory signals, and if we do not have two types or three types of trains, I want to use the signal on the block. So I will come out with a new version of software um, and I will post it on the forum as soon as it is released and then you can download it. Okay, thank you for watching and maybe see you back in a later video. Bye bye.